Hi, Chris, aka Narc Survivor. My name is Nicole. My YouTube channel is Life Support. Um, subscribe to your channel. I was scrolling through my information earlier today for my alerts, and I had uh, when I came across an alert from you asking uh, you open up a platform for your subscribers, or maybe for anyone that is a survivor of narcissistic abuse and relationships to share their story so i said why not um especially if i know it's going to help somebody if it's going to help to encourage you if it's going to help to encourage somebody why not um so i grew up i was born into a narcissistic family not everyone was narcissistic but at the um, end of the day when i did my research and did my homework I was subject to a lot of SRA, satanic ritual abuse as a child. And so I've never had a, a healthy relationship, never got a chance to experience a healthy, intimate relationship, was always um, made to believe that I had to be a certain way in order to receive love. That started with my dad. So how it affect me? How did it affect me down through the years? It affected my health. Um, I had to cut all my hair off. I had caught a fungal infection. My hair was really long. I had been growing locks for years. And I caught a fungal infection in my scalp. So I just cut all of my hair off so I could deal with my scalp issues and heal my scalp. Um, I developed high blood pressure. When I met this person, we were both in addiction. And... Um, he had high blood pressure. I didn't think anything of it because I never had high blood pressure. I never liked salt. I never engaged in eating too much junk food. I always took the healthy route, the more expensive food of purchase, choice of purchase. And so it never dawned on me that that would um, go from him to myself. Um, so now I'm seeing a chiropractor. I have actually have to go see her tomorrow because I have a big knot on the back of my shoulder blade. It's like a big piece of meat that doesn't belong there. Um, when I used to sleep in the bed with this person at night, I would feel, uh, the best way to describe it is like negative energy, like a sting, like a voltage shock, like how... Um, lightning would hit but like a sting and we weren't even touching in the bed we would just be sleep on our own sides of the bed and I would feel this and I would immediately get up and go into the living room and sleep on the couch which then led me to permanently sleep in a different room sleep on the couch until I made my exit plan and I gained weight I developed skin problems. I don't know if you could see it right there. Never had bad skin. I have ointment on this. Um, my doctor said that's from wearing the mask. Uh, but the skin problems are like, it's really deep embedded in my skin. And I'm like, what? I never had skin problems. So those are just a couple of things that I have endured. Um, right now I'm on my healing journey. And um, what I do most and foremost is I try not to think about the things that I've gone through. I try to keep telling myself that it's in the past, it's behind me. And how I remind myself of that is every day I make sure that I care for myself properly. Um, I could spot a narcissist now just by their conversation, half the time by their body language because they always have to be the center of attention and when I go out, it just really grieves my heart to see couples and the female, you can tell that she's the victim of it. You can tell that she's suffering from self-love and she's willing to be treated any way just to be in the presence of evil. So I hope that that was able to help. Um, you better get to know me. I look forward to working with you in the future. Until next time, breathe easy, take care, and have a blessed one.